Now I like to show you how to install the mirror sliding door. Uh, for this bedroom, uh, I like to install this mirror sliding door which I bought from Home Depot. And this mirror door is only 80 and half inches height. Okay, it says 80 and half inch, including the wheel uh, here. You know, when you measure from here, it is around 79 inches total length but this wheel is attached to the spring inside you see the spring inside and this spring you can pull it this is a door how it's hang hang it on the railing on the top hang it on the top railing and when you when the door hang it from the uh, railing it will be 80 and half inch that what it says in their uh, booklet it says 80 and half inch length and unfortunately my closet opening 6 inch 8 feet height uh, we are planning to make a frame here just a wooden frame and uh, cut down the height up to 80 and half inch the total length 8 feet 9 feet and when you subtract around 13 and a half or 14 inches from the top it will be around here it's 80 and a half inches and i'm going to make a frame by two by four and one plank of wood and i'm going to stain it this is my plan and you can do both ways either you can cover the height with a, a wooden frame or you can cover it in the bottom uh, you can use the same uh, in the bottom too. You can cover the bottom or uh, on the top. We only have the 80 and half inch for this door. And we already bought the door. And it comes with all railing. You see here. Comes with all the railing including the door. Okay. The railing system and the bottom guide here. Okay. And all the screws and everything comes with it and it's very convenient only thing if it fits on your closet door it's easy if it doesn't fit and I have 57 inch wide and this door can go up to 60 inch you have to uh, careful about when you buying the door okay measure the inside for your closet door and and you read the level for the door and how much you can open it okay if your uh, closet opening width is coming in between whatever it says in the level you could buy that one okay this is not expensive this is not that expensive i think around 200 dollars something I think less than 200 okay. uh, in this instruction sheet about this mirror door it shows um, it shows top or bottom adjustment depending on your door type there is two type you can adjust the height for this door when it's hanging hanging on the railing uh, either you can adjust from the top this is top which is this one this one here you see this is the top and this one doesn't have screw here when you look from the behind there is no screw here okay only spring spring loaded and we cannot adjust from the top because there is no screw as it says in the instruction sheet they shows the top there is screwdriver you cannot adjust here they said top or bottom adjustment depending the bottom it shows uh, attachment with the wheel 
you can adjust with a screwdriver okay which we have it in our door we have a screw here okay okay this, this thing you can adjust up to i think around uh, around two inches i think one and a half inch at least okay you can adjust this by unscrewing through here okay if you unscrew this you can adjust all the way up to here if you unscrew this screw up to here and it will stay it will hit here and you can get the height up to uh, one and a half inch okay and we then then as we are as we can adjust the height from the bottom one and a half inch we measure 13 and a half inches from the top and we don't worry if it's 13 or 13 and a half we can adjust the bottom one and a half inch we have a plate then we don't have to worry about exact accurate measurement we have a tolerance and we have a tolerance around one and a half inch we can adjust it okay okay for this uh, rail we need 57 inches for my closet opening mm -hmm. but we can measure from there or from here we can measure it from here to 57 or we can measure it from here 57 inch okay but when we check it there is two hole they given here it's adjacent hole two holes near then that means if we cut it 57 here we will miss this hole and the screw hole is here okay then we don't want to miss the hole when we cut it okay the hole will be missing and it's less strengthened better to cut this side then we can save this hole and we can uh, fix it strongly firmly after we cut this with the metal uh, saw blade and initially it didn't uh, went in okay we try to file the uh, railing but the unfortunately this wall slanted this way okay then what happened the wheel can go here but when we as we go in the higher the piece won't go in because the wall is slanted this way that's why i needed to cut it again then only it's fitting now it's okay see now it's okay now this challenge is over and the next biggest challenge to take out the old piece the previous worker you know the previous worker using the nail metal nail there and metal three nails there four four nails this four nail very hard to take it out because all you know the main problem main problem biggest challenge for the uh, good worker the previous worker did something uh, wrong this is the biggest challenge already there was a screw damage and we put flatten the ceiling we put some cement this four places i don't want to screw this place again i want to avoid screwing here i want to make a screw in between here okay now we already pre-cut this one yesterday now we have to screw the channel or uh, railing whatever it's called we have to screw it on this okay we have to screw it here we just hanging the mirror door in order to hang we need to slide this one 45 degree angle and uh, we have to slide it and we didn't install the channel okay we just uh, didn't install this okay because we need to make perpendicular to the uh, railing in the top this top we fix the railing but, but we need to be perpendicular from the top to the bottom okay that's why we are not fixing the bottom gate now okay we just hanging the door this mirror door and see how the door while is hanging we can see that perpendicular or not okay now we need to lift this wheel up okay but 
the spring loaded uh, wheel on the top without a screw here so very hard this spring loaded one is very hard to install okay the other one i the old my uh, sliding door that one has not spring it's only screw we can adjust the screw that's really good when you buy it you have to be careful this wheel from my old door uh, i detached it and uh, dismantled and i kept it okay this door doesn't have a this uh, attachment has doesn't have a spring loaded and that's screwed you can control by the screw then it stays firmly on the door you can lift it up and install it so easily as spring is installed in this door very hard to lift the spring with one hand and put it on and spring loaded one i not prefer if you have screwed one that is good one that's the greatest idea okay and this one we have to slant it around 45 degree okay then the greatest challenge this wheel has spring you can lift it by hand okay but it's really hard while we ha hanging the door we have to lift this wheel by your hand and install it okay now we install the top part of the sliding door now as the wheels are spring loaded we can lift it up okay then we can put the bottom guide in this bottom channel and bottom guide we didn't install it it's just moving and we going to put this there is a wheel here in the bottom and we need to put this wheel inside the channel you see this uh, this a wheel in the bottom here this is a bottom wheel we try to uh, put in this wheel inside the channel we are lifting the door okay we lifting the door and we going to okay we are going to put this bottom wheel inside the channel here okay okay now is inside the that's also inside but this bottom gate is keep on moving okay now bro now we need to make this perpendicular okay in order to see this is now wobbly you can move it up and down okay you can move it anyway because i didn't install the bottom gate now we need to check the door is perpendicular or not okay uh, as we come along when when we sliding the door look it is not straight this is not straight because why is not straight because this trim is hitting here look it's uh, already damaged because of previous door we need to take this trim okay remove the uh, trim now now is hitting here or to the this trim okay then this is slightly slanted in the top very slightly okay door perpendicular to the top uh ceiling okay now you see the water level is middle bottom water level also middle now we need to screw it down the bottom channel bottom gate okay because once we align to perpendicular this door after installing then we install the bottom channel okay okay once we install this door there is adjustment in this door we can adjust from the bottom there is a screw if you unscrew uh, turn anti clockwise it will lift it up if you turn clockwise is go down and when you check here 
when you check here when it's touching there is a more gap here and less gap in the bottom okay now there is a big gap here and small gap here how we adjust this there is a there is a bottom gate screw here okay there is a screw here if we turn this screw uh, anti clockwise it will the door will go up this side okay anti clockwise we turn anti clockwise anti clockwise when we turn anti clockwise the door will go on okay okay now when you check this not bad look okay you cannot just the bottom here okay there is two screw okay if if you want to make this door go this way you want to go this way you have to lift this door this side up in order to lift this side up you need to turn the bottom turn the bottom uh guide anti clockwise then this side will go up this side go up that means this gap will be adjusted if it's too much gap here if it's less gap here more gap in the bottom you have to do the opposite okay that's it okay very important we need to put uh, the back door first that's very important otherwise very hard to install the second door the first you need to put the back door in the back channel first then the front channel there is two channels here okay this door first door you need to put the back okay oh. we need to the second door when we install the second door okay one thing is important you cannot adjust the uh, bottom gate while you put the bottom gate inside here you cannot get a, a hand you don't have a hand gap to do it okay one you know very careful when you install the second door one thing is very important because you cannot hold the hand in between to raise this wheel up you need to hold the wheel up to put in the channel while we are sliding 45 degree i'm talking about second door okay then what you need to do when before you installing the second door you need to take the first door right side top guide top wheel you have to take it off okay the first door you need to take it off the right side of the wheel okay you need to take it off then only you get enough space to put your hand in to install the wheel for the second door here once you install the second door wheel from here then you go back you can put it back the first door wheel that's the only way you can do it i believe then when you come to the bottom gate you cannot install you cannot put this bottom gate wheel inside first you have to remove it then only you can get a hand gap to turn the and adjust something in the board okay we need to push it in this screw okay we need to push this screw down first in order to put the wheel and the two black thing back is uh, look like a hook inside this channel okay first you have to push this screw in in order to push down the wheel and the two black small hook uh besides has to uh, when go in this channel then you have to adjust the screw up anti clockwise first you push it in then you turn the anti clockwise 
Okay guys, now uh, we installed both the door, glass do mirror door, okay. Now it's so smooth, the wheel going very fast, you have to, it's very fast. This is the problem, because of fastness it will hit there. You need to put one bush on both sides, otherwise it hit the wall. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a bush on this wall. Okay. Now it looks perfect. I need to cover the wood piece here. I already bought a wood piece. And I need to stain the, that wood plank and I need to screw it. Either I can screw it from here or from the back. Okay. We finish our uh, journey to fix all this and uh, we put the stained uh, wood piece here and this is mirror glass door sliding door we finish we fill the place and it's done deal and it's moving perfectly okay moving perfectly and pretty much finish everything and you if you guys not subscribe or like or share please do so my channel, Pixel channel, please subscribe, share or like. Okay, bye. We are going to make a frame like this ladder. This is 2 by 4 piece. Okay, this piece we going to take out this frame and we are going to put 2 by 4 screw it on the wall with the concrete screw and this inside 57 inch and this is what i show here this is a wooden piece uh, 2 by 4 57 inches okay two pieces here and i'm going to support these two piece with a frame with a four in between okay and this calculation should be from the top here from the top this is top of the floor uh, ceiling okay not floor sorry uh, top of the ceiling from here to this end there should be 13 and a half inches how did i get 13 and a half 94 inches total height from the floor to the ceiling is 94 inches exact measurement okay then 94 inches minus 80 and a half 18 and a half 80 and a half which is the door door height including the wheel hanging okay 80 and half when you subtract 94 minus 80 and half should be 13 and half this 13 and half should be outer uh, edges 13 and half this is a width from the top top to the frame end up to here then we install the railing here and we hang the door from the railing okay this is our plan okay we make it 57 inch here 57 inches okay okay we make the square make it straight line and we cut it bit calculation here actually the outer size is 13 and a half for this frame but we have to subtract the thickness of this beam and this beam okay we have to subtract this thickness one and a half the width of this uh, wood is one and a half and it's a one and a half and one and a half three inches we have to subtract three inches from 13 and a half this is outer size we subtract the thickness of this two beam piece 3 inches when you subtract 10 and a half and inside here this piece 
10 inches and half 10 and half okay we have to cut we need 10 and half here okay mark it and we use the square in order to make it straight make it 10 and half uh, we just uh, uh, put three pieces and we planning to put two pieces in the end one here <coughs> one here in the end not now <coughs> We just, what we did, we just put a, like a, with a drill, we just made a three hole, one, two, three, and it's, we made a, like a hole, like this, three hole, and we made a slot, like this slot, in the end, and what we do, when we put the screw here, the screw can, screw can play both, both direction. Okay, I put only one screw from the top and why I am doing this when I put the screw in the center of the slot and when I go to the wall when I screw the wall from the this two side to the wall the wall should not be matching as I made here okay wall wall is when I put this frame put the whole frame into the wall the wall should not match with this side that's why I gave a play here I put one screw in the center when I screw to the wall from this side two screws to the wall then this wood can move this way and this way this wood can have a play that's the reason I am doing this initially I thought I will I will not screw here I put going to the wall but from the top I cannot screw it because I screw this top piece into the ceiling then I couldn't screw it afterwards that's the reason I am screwing now only one screw in the center We made the frame and the wall we already we already put some cement already there was a screw damage and we put flatten the ceiling we put some cement this four places I don't want to screw this place again I want to avoid screwing here I want to make a screw in between here okay and this piece, the far end piece, I didn't screw it from the bottom. I only screw with one screw from the top. And there is a slot, I made a slot. This piece can move because when we put the piece here, the frame here, okay, there is a gap between. And when we screw it, this wood has to flat with the wall that's why I let them to have a play this is very heavy because it is not that dry wood it's still wet it's a very heavy I cannot hold it and screw it and uh, I clamp it this edge of the wall and here I just use one old shower curtain and one wood piece you see the wood piece okay and the old shower curtain I twist it and make it and tight and that's how it stays now thank god it stays there now because uh, long time you cannot hold it and I, I need a 2, 4, 6, 8 screws here and 2 screws on the sides, 2 screws here I hope it will carry the concrete screw I'm using uh, 2 and two and a quarter screw and 
and using the Colombia drill. Okay, how are we making drill on this? I did in the X-ray. I'm using uh, around uh, 532 drill for a wooden wooden drill, which you drill the hole in the wood. Okay, first you drill the hole in the wood, not in the concrete, only in the wood. Then what we do? We just using this big drill to make a counter sink for the screw because this is one and a half the, my screw, Kongi screw, two and quarter only, I didn't get it. I supposed to get two and half. If I get two and half, the wood is one and half, I can make one inch go into the Kongi. Around one inch I can put it in the Kongi. That is strong hold. One inch, one inch if, we, if we can get it inside the Kongi. That I, I, for me, I feel it's strong enough. Uh, I'm not portional. You can uh, check the portional advice if you want. And this one only two and quarter. In that case, I just make a counter sink here by using the big drill in order to go the nail inside the wood. Here, hold, okay, big hold. And after I counter sink, I'm using the concrete drill. Okay, I'm using 532 concrete drill. And I tape it here, this much depth I want to go. I want to go around up to here, I think. Yeah, I'm going all the way up to here. Okay. First, using the wooden drill bit, and here I'm using here around. Then I'm using big drill for counter sink for the cap for the screw. The biggest challenge, this frame, because of this frame, I cannot use the screw because it's a big, long, lengthy. This cannot go in. I have to slide it a little bit because it's hitting the frame. Then we using, after compressing, we using the corn bit, drill bit, okay. Then I am putting the screw. I am using three drill, you see, one for uh, screwing, one for compressing and a wooden drill bit, one for corn bit. I'm using three drill device. Otherwise, you will lose lots of time. So we almost to fix the frame, and this is now looks strong. But there is one problem we faced was. There is a steel frame here. Then I couldn't screw into the wall because of this is steel. I don't have steel drill. Very hard to drill the, on the steel. That's why that's the only thing here. But here I could uh, sideways, I could drill to the side wall. Then it is very strong here. Here not that strong, but it's okay. Very not. We are not that much weight carrying this very. Then now we already pre-cut this one yesterday. Now we have to screw the channel or uh, railing, whatever it's called. We have to screw it on this. Okay, we have to screw it here. We cut the piece, uh, this wood piece plank. Uh, according to the measurement here, okay, this thing can go like this, okay, and like this. We cut it the width and we cut the width and length, okay. Now it looks like not bad. We have to fix the wood like this, but I don't want to screw it from here because screw will be visible when you look from here. So I just want to screw it from the back 
when we are planning to screw it from the back then we need to need some measurement to cut small pieces like this and this wood goes to the side and goes to this wood okay okay uh, as we are planning to screw it from the back what we need to do we need a piece we have to screw it i cut this five pieces for this five uh, ch channel and uh, i cut it in between like this okay i'm going to screw it here the piece here and screw it from the back to the plant okay i'm going to screw it here this piece into the side and the plank we put it and screw it from the back from here okay okay then there's a another uh, calculation and problem if you screw if you screw it your uh, wood piece here if you screw it here okay if you screw it to this side and you can screw it the plank from here because once you screw from the back the plank will be uh, pushed out and if someone even hold it it will be uh, slided or uh, it will be distorted so we what we did we just mark it on the plank the piece of wood we mark it on the back and we screw it first in the plank okay that what we did we mark here we mark for the place after we uh, hold it the plank and we mark it from inside like this we mark here okay we screw it down this piece here we got to screw it down then we bring the plank and put it and screw it side that's only we can do okay then we need to hold the piece and mark this one with the two people then only you can get exactly you can mark it and screw it down once you screw it down then you can screw it from the back that's easy way. just to mark it the width and this side okay and we need to align with this and this is uh, bottom we have to align with this we have to align with this line okay and hold it down we have to uh, remember this if the drill is too long if you screw it down what will happen the drill bit will go all the way through and the hole will be visible from the other side i don't want to use uh, wood filler or something if if we screw it down all the way the drill bit will go up. we have to adjust the height because this is one and quarter and this is three quarter then one and quarter and three quarter will be uh, two inches okay then we need one and three quarter less than two inch we take one and three quarter screw In that way the screw will not pass through the plank okay this is one and three quarter okay this is two inches when you add this two okay because we putting this sideways like this okay this is one and quarter this is three quarter plank when you add both two inches then we take one and three quarter screw and we have to adjust the drill bit this height otherwise the drill bit will go through okay we have to little bit less than that and we have to tight it okay we use a one eight drill okay this the screw thickness is 10 little bit uh, big big screw so i hope it won't break it and i screw it right away we screw it down let's see how does it goes now we cannot screw it down look it's not taking it because we need to change this bigger drill if it's screw it screwing is so tight we need to we need bigger drill that way it can screw so easy i took one night i think i need to change the drill bit the bigger one
Now I use 964 bigger drill. That way we can screw it fast. See, screw going so fast. Once the screw is tight, you have to understand that you need bigger drill. Stain this plank, okay, before we install it. And we previously installed some uh, wood here, wood pieces here. And after I install it, it's not fitting exactly the measurement I took. That's why I took one, two, three screws. I lose it, but rest of the everything I left in it. Then I can adjust this. I can adjust this. I can adjust this. Okay, this all of them I can adjust. Then I can put it in. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay. Hello guys, we finished our uh, journey to fix all this, and uh, we put the stained uh, wood piece here, and this is mirror glass door sliding door. We finish. We fill the place. And it's done deal and it's moving perfectly. Okay, moving perfectly. And pretty much finish everything. And you if you guys not subscribe or like or share, please do so. My channel, Pixel channel, please subscribe, share or like. Okay, bye.